Hi guys. Um, today we're looking at quadratic graph. However, we will not be drawing the graph. I'm going to only show you how to draw up the table. Some students have difficulty with it. Some students have inboxed me about it, and they said that I should do one where we I can do the table. So I'm going to be doing that for you today. So we are given this graph x squared minus 3x plus 5 and that's for the domain negative 3 to positive 3. So that is the values of x. Now remember we are given the domain and we are going to find the range. The range would be the y value. I didn't want to draw the table before. I just wanted to show you guys step by step. Now what we're going to do, we'll be doing is to write about this formula. So it says x squared minus 3x plus 5, right? So we write back this here, and then we have y right here. Now, these are the x values, so let us put in when x is. So the x values go right here. So first, x must be negative 3. Negative 2 all the way to positive 3. So this is the negative 1. Remember to include 0 because that's the y intercept. As I say, we stop at 3. Normally, C sec will give you the domain, so you have to just work with whatever domain. If they don't give you or a scale, you will have to choose that. So this first one says x squared. So here x in this line, x is negative 3. So it would be negative 3 squared. All of them would be square in this one, right? Negative 1 square, 0 square, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. Next, we go down to negative 3x. So x is, so negative 3 and x is 3 in this one so put negative negative 3 negative 2 you see the pattern guys negative 1 negative 3 times 0 negative 3 times positive 1 negative 3 times 2 negative 3 times 3 it's amazing how easy this is but people still find a lot of struggles with it Alright, now we have plus 5. There's no x, so we just add 5, add 5, add 5, add 5, add 5, add 5, add 5. Now we can compute. Negative 3 times negative 3 would be 9. Any number squared is positive. So 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9. Right, negative 3 times negative 3 would be positive 9. Negative 3 times 2 would be positive 6. Negative 3 times negative 1 would be positive 3. 3 times 0, 0. Negative 3 times that would be negative 3. Negative 3, 2, negative 6. Negative 3, negative 9. How are we doing? Whatever answer we get. So we have 9 and positive 9, so we add them. So 9 plus 9 would be 18 plus 5, 23. So this is the corresponding value. So for negative 3, we're going to plot this on the graph. But as I say, I'm not going to plot it today. You're going to do that. So 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So for negative 2, the value would be 15. I'm, I'm, I just want you to get the general idea. For negative 1, so this is 1 plus 3, that's 4 plus 5, 9. So for negative 1, you're going to plot positive 9. And here we have 0 and 0, so it's 5. So 0, when x is 0, and this is known as the y-intercept here. And this one now, 1 minus 3 give you a negative 2. Plus 5 give you a positive 3. So this is work out to 5. Alright, so 4 minus 6, that's positive negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 give you 3. And of course, you guys can double check it. 
9 minus 9 is 0, and that is 5. So 1 goes with 3, 2 goes with 3, and 3 goes with 5. Now you would plot that these points on the graph, and that would be your graph of x squared. And of course, remember to label the graph. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.